everyone. Welcome to Ready to Read Fridays with Miss Marie. I hope that you're ready to join in some fun when, as we read books and learn about a season that's coming up. So think about that because I'm going to ask you about what season is coming up in just a minute. Let's get ready to sing. Let's put our fingers together to sing our welcome song on the count of three. One, two, three. The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, my friends, who would like to tell me about the season of the year that we're getting ready for? There are four seasons and we're in summer. Which one is the next season? Hmm. If you said autumn or fall, you are correct. Give yourself a round of applause. Great job. I have a few books that we're going to read that has everything to do about autumn. Let's get started. Okay. I have a book here called From Apple Trees to Cider, Please. It is written by Felicia Senzari Chinesky. The pictures are illustrated or done by Julia Patton. My publisher is Albert Whitman and Company. So let's take a look at the cover first. What do you see on this cover? Hmm. I see some signs that says apple trees, but I see something red. It's really big. It's a big barn. Ooh, that must be the apple farm. I also see some apple trees and some farming equipment. And I see apples here too. Oh, I see something down here. That, I believe, is an old time apple press. How exciting. And there's even a dog down here and some apple products. Apple butter, apple cider, apple pie, apple flavored maple syrup. Mmm. Some, um, let's see, fizzy apple cider. And it looks like there are some donuts and muffins too. All right, well, let's see what Felisa Chinesky has to show, share with us with this story. Here we go. Hello, apples in the trees growing just for mom and me. I see a sign that says cider mill, hot and cold apple cider, donuts, entrance, and I see even some little farm animals all along here. Reaching up, we take our pick, twist and pluck them. That's the trick. There's honey crisp apples and Granny Smith. They're green. Golden Delicious or more yellow. And then Fuji have two different colors on them the red and yellow. Wow, our wagon's apple full. Mom, let's roll. I'll help you pull. Pass dappled leaves and threw out on through the loud and happy apple picking crowd. Wow, there are some people there, right? And look at their bushel of apples that they picked. That's exciting. 
scarecrows, mums, and bales of hay help to lead us on our way. I see that scarecrow. Here's the mill. Now let me guess, that's an apple cider press. Clean the apples, check for worms. Wash and dry them, no more germs. Those apples do look good. Every apple does its part, whether juicy, sweet, or tart. Look at that. They go on machinery. Red, green, yellow, drop them in. Turn the crank, the shredder spins. There's that shredder. Wind the metal wheel to crush. In the bucket, apple mush. Twist and press to squish and mash. See the cider splish and splash? Turn the tap to fill the jug. Hear the cider, glug, glug, glug. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Mom, I'm thirsty. Can we stay? There's a festival today. Ooh, that does sound fun, doesn't it? Come and get, get it, gather near. Gobble up some apple cheer. Cobbler, fritters, pie, the rest. I like cider donuts best. Mm. Gulp it cold or sip it hot. Apple cider hits the spot. Apple smiles, so glad we stayed. Now we know how cider's made. Mmm, doesn't that sound like such a great field trip to go to an apple cider place and factory and farm to see how it's made? It sounds exciting. Well, we have, um, a finger play called My Apple. And if you had registered for the program, then you should have received copies of all of these finger plays that we're going to do. So we're going to hold our hands just like this. And we're going to say, look at my apple. Is it nice and round? It fell from a tree down to the ground. Good, now move your hands just like this. Okay, let's try that again. Look at my apple, it is nice and round. It fell from a tree down to the ground. Come, let me share my apple, please do. Can you do that? Come, let me share my apple, please do. Okay, let's put it all together. Look at my apple, it's nice and round. It fell from a tree down to the ground. Come, let me share my apple, please do. My mother can cut it in half, in two. One half for me, one half for you. Okay, let's put that all together from the very beginning. Cup your hands. Look at my apple, it is nice and round. It fell from a tree down to the ground. Come, let me share my apple, please do. 
My mother can cut it in half, in two. One half for me, one half for you. Very good. Thank you so much for doing that with me. Let's read the next story. Who's ready? Yes. Okay, the next story is called It's Fall. And this book is written by Linda Glazer. The illustrations are actually cut paper and those are done by Susan Swan. And the publisher is Millbrook Press Library Edition. All right, let's take a look. Oh, I see all different color leaves on the front page, the title page. Oh, and I see all of these geese. Hmm, you might start seeing geese soon too. They're flying south. It's fall. I skip and swish through autumn leaves. They crunch and crackle under my feet and whoosh and whirl all around me. Red, orange, yellow, gold, and brown. A wind swoops up, more leaves fall down. Oh look, someone's jumping in the leaves. Who likes jumping in the leaves? Yeah, it's so much fun. It's fall, I help rake a big, big pile of leaves. Whee! I jump in and sink deep, deep, deep. I hide inside. It smells sharp and sweet. Leaves prickle and tickle all over me. I wait and wait. Then, pop, it's me. We hear the wild honking of migrating geese as they fly way up overhead in V's. A hawk soars up in a sweeping glide and there go some monarch butterflies. They're all heading south where it's warm because colder days are coming soon. It's fall. Animals are hiding all around me. They're getting ready to hibernate in deep, deep sleep. Ladybugs hide in pine cones and under dark, under bark and leaves, excuse me. Earthworms tunnel way down where the earth doesn't freeze. Wow, there's a lot going on in the fall. Frogs burrow in lake bottoms under the mud. A raccoon finds a safe spot in a hollow log. A chipmunk stores piles of seeds underground. Soon, they'll all sleep for a long, long time. Gray squirrels scamper around finding acorns and nuts. They'll be awake all winter, so they have to fatten up. Mm. It's fall. The air is turning crisp and cold. It's time to wear our warmer clothes. We put on jackets and pants and long sleeves to keep us warm when it turns breezy. The sun goes down so early now. We wait and watch the sky grow dark. We see the great big harvest moon rise up and up and up. Oh, look at the owl. <laughs> Wherever we go, we find flowers and weeds drying out and scattering seeds. We float silky parachutes of dry milkweed. Birds land on our dry sunflowers and eat the seeds. Tall, dry cattails whisper and rattle. Crisp leaves swish and rustle and chatter. It's fall. We 
collect acorns and pine cones and pretty leaves. I choose a great big pumpkin. We carve a face and roast the seeds. One day in our garden, we dig some holes. We plant crocuses and tulips and daffodil bulbs. I try to picture how they'll look a long time from now when they are, when they finally come up. Then one day I notice that the trees are all bare. Leaves have fallen everywhere. There's an icy chill in the air. Soon, very soon, winter will be here. But right now, it's still fall. I gather handfuls of autumn leaves. I toss them up. They swirl down on me. It's fall. It's fall. I love it all. It's fall. And then there are some nature activities that are listed in this book to do in the fall. Go to an apple orchard and pick apples. Visit a pumpkin patch and choose a pumpkin. Collect autumn leaves. Place them in a book and press them and save them and dry them. Make leaf rubbings. Put a leaf under a piece of paper and take a crayon and draw over it and you'll get a picture of the leaf. Collect flower seeds and pods from the garden to plant in the spring. And collect garden flowers or wild flowers. And you can hang them upside down to dry them, to keep them all winter long. Some pretty neat activities that Linda Glazer had given us. I hope you like this story. Are you ready for the next? little finger play. We need you to stand up for this one. We're going to pretend that we are autumn leaves. Okay. So what we're going to do is autumn leaves are falling, falling. So you're just going to go down like that. And you can sit down if you want or just kind of squat down. Okay. Autumn leaves are falling, falling. Autumn leaves are spinning, spinning. Can you do that for me? Autumn leaves are spinning, spinning. Autumn leaves are floating, floating. Autumn leaves are turning, turning. You could either do this or you can go around again like this slowly. Autumn leaves are dancing, dancing. Autumn leaves are blowing, blowing. Autumn leaves are falling, falling. Autumn leaves are sleeping, sleeping. Did you enjoy that? You can always stop and repeat this with me, but let's do it one more time because it was so much fun. Are you ready? Put your hands up high and pretend that those are leaves. Autumn leaves are falling, falling, falling. Autumn leaves are spinning, spinning, spinning. Woo. Autumn leaves are floating, floating, floating. Autumn leaves are turning, turning, turning. Autumn leaves are dancing, dancing, dancing. Autumn leaves are blowing, blowing, blowing. Autumn leaves are falling, falling, falling. And autumn leaves are sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Excellent job. All right. Nice movements, everyone. Well, for our last 
story. This one is a short one, but a good one. One of my favorites, Mouse's First Fall. This is written by Lauren Thompson, illustrated by Bucket Erdogan. And let's see, who's the publisher? A Little Simon, which is from Simon & Schuster. I see Mouse right here, and it's her first fall. Let's take a look. One cool fall day. Mouse and Minka came out to play. Tumbling and twirling fall leaves fell all around. Look at all the colors, said Minka. Mouse saw red leaves and yellow leaves and orange leaves and brown leaves. Pretty. Look at all the shapes, said Minka. Mouse saw round leaves and skinny leaves and pointy leaves and smooth leaves. Yay! Let's run through the leaves, said Minka another fun activity to do. While well, Mouse ran and skipped and kicked and swished through all the leaves. Fun! Let's pile them up, said Minka. Mouse piled the leaves high. One leaf, two leaves, three leaves, lots of leaves. Yippee! What a big pile, said Minka. Let's jump in. Mouse leaped and jumped and plopped and rolled into the leaves. Whee! I'm hiding, called Minka. Can you find me? Hmm. Where is she? Mouse peeked and poked and peered between the leaves. Where could Minka be? Oh, do you see a clue? I see a clue. Then out popped Minka. Here I am. Hooray for Minka! Hooray for Mouse! Hip hip hooray for Fall! All right, let's pretend that we are just like Minka and her friend Mouse. We're going to now do All the Leaves Are Falling Down and some to the tune of London Bridges Falling Down. You ready? All the leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. All the leaves are falling down, it is fall. Take the rake and rake them up, rake them up, rake them up. Take the rake and rake them up, it is fall. Make a pile and jump right in, jump right in, jump right in. Make a pile and jump right in. It is fall. Yay! Excellent job. I can't wait to see you all next week and have a great day. Bye.